In the heart of Yellowstone National Park, a new vent has appeared, spewing forth steam and capturing the attention of scientists and the public alike. Discovered in August 2024, this vent, located near Roadside Springs, serves as a reminder of the dynamic forces at play beneath the park's serene beauty. Initially, the vent released steam at a scalding 77 degrees Celsius or 171 degrees Fahrenheit. Its edges coated with a fine layer of grey silicious clay, evidence of the superheated water reacting with the surrounding rock. The location of this new vent is significant. It lies along a fault line that stretches from the park's iconic Norris Geyser Basin to the Mammoth Hot Springs area. This fault line is a testament to the powerful geological processes that have shaped Yellowstone over millennia. It acts as a conduit for the intense heat and pressure generated by the Yellowstone supervolcano, allowing them to reach the surface in the form of geysers, hot springs, and occasionally new vents like the one discovered in 2024. This isn't the first time a vent has emerged in this location. Back in 2003, a similar feature appeared nearby only to fade away after a time. The appearance and disappearance of such vents are not uncommon in Yellowstone. They are a testament to the dynamic nature of the hydrothermal system that lies beneath the surface, constantly shifting and changing in response to the immense heat and pressure below. While the appearance of a new vent may seem alarming, it is essential to remember that Yellowstone is a geologically active area. Such events are part of the natural cycle of this dynamic landscape. The appearance of this vent, while intriguing, does not necessarily signal an impending eruption. Yellowstone National Park is a land of striking contrasts. Lush forests and pristine lakes belie the immense power that lies beneath the surface. The park sits atop a supervolcano, a behemoth capable of eruptions thousands of times more powerful than any volcanic event in recorded history. Evidence of this fiery past is scattered across the landscape, from the park's iconic geysers to its bubbling mud pots. These hydrothermal features, so characteristic of Yellowstone, are a direct result of the supervolcano's immense heat. Rainwater and snowmelt seep into the ground, where they are superheated by the magma chamber lying miles below. This superheated water then rises back to the surface, creating the geysers, hot springs and fumaroles that draw millions of visitors to Yellowstone each year. The hydrothermal system is in a constant state of flux. New features can appear, while others may fade away. Their lifespans dictated by the whims of the supervolcano below. The new vent, with its plume of steam, is simply the latest manifestation of this ongoing process. It is a reminder that Yellowstone is a living, breathing landscape shaped by forces far beyond our control. The appearance of this new vent, while significant, is not necessarily a cause for alarm. It is simply another beat in the fiery heartbeat of Yellowstone, a reminder of the awesome power that lies just beneath the surface of this seemingly tranquil landscape. Deep beneath Yellowstone National Park, a slumbering giant rests. The Yellowstone Magma Chamber, a reservoir of molten rock miles beneath the surface, is the source of the park's geothermal wonders and the engine behind its violent past. This immense chamber, estimated to be roughly 37 miles long, 18 miles wide and 3 to 7 miles deep, contains a vast volume of molten rock kept in a semi-liquid state by the intense heat of the Earth's interior. While the magma chamber is a source of fascination for scientists and visitors alike, it is also a source of some anxiety. The Yellowstone supervolcano has experienced three catastrophic eruptions in the past, each one reshaping the landscape for hundreds of miles around. The last major eruption ejected over 240 cubic miles of volcanic material, creating the Yellowstone caldera, a massive depression that forms much of the park today. The question that weighs heavily on the minds of scientists is not if Yellowstone will erupt again, but when. Currently, the magma chamber is estimated to contain only 10 to 30% molten rock, with the rest solidified due to gradual cooling over millennia. This low percentage of molten rock is considered insufficient to fuel a major eruption. However, the magma chamber is a dynamic system, constantly replenished by magma from deep within the Earth. Monitoring the magma chamber is crucial for understanding the potential risks posed by the Yellowstone supervolcano. 
Scientists utilize a variety of techniques to track the movement of magma, the release of gases, and the deformation of the ground surface, all of which can provide clues about the state of the slumbering giant below. The discovery of the new vent in Yellowstone sparked a flurry of headlines, many of them sensationalizing the event and raising fears of an impending eruption. It's important to remember that while Yellowstone is an active volcano, a major eruption is not considered imminent. Scientists closely monitor the park's volcanic activity and there are no signs of an impending eruption. Experts at the United States Geological Survey, USGS, emphasize that the new vent is a normal occurrence in Yellowstone. The park's hydrothermal system is constantly changing and the appearance of new features is to be expected. These features are a testament to the dynamic nature of the supervolcano and the forces that shape our planet. While the possibility of a future eruption at Yellowstone cannot be ruled out, the USGS maintains that the risk of such an event happening is extremely low. The magma chamber is currently far from eruption conditions and there are no other indicators such as significant ground deformation or changes in gas emissions that would suggest an eruption is imminent. The best way to approach the news of the new vent is with a sense of awe and wonder. Yellowstone is a place of incredible beauty and power, a reminder of the dynamic forces that have shaped our planet. The new vent is simply the latest chapter in the ongoing story of Yellowstone, a story that continues to unfold before our very eyes.